Welcome to Gisborne. Whoa. Wow, this is cute. Oh, I tripped on the top step. Let's hope that's not a, a sign <laughs> of what's to come. how the rest come. of the day goes. <laughs> Check this out. There is just so many incredible beaches out this way. Stunning, we, eh? Uh, actually, we've kind of one bay around, actually. We're not officially really in, in the city centre yet. That's one more bay, and then that there. That's Gizzy. After taking the long way around the East Coast Pacific Coast Highway in episode one, we've finally arrived in Gisborne, a city known for its good vibes. Whether that's from hosting New Zealand's largest music festival each year, the epicness of the beaches and surf breaks, or the low-key, down-to-earth approach to life. Who knows, but we love it. 24 hours isn't nearly enough in Gizzy. We've got some amazing tours lined up in the next few videos, but we wanted to share what it's like ticking off as many different sides to the city, cruising around in just a day. It's one of those things when you come to a place, you've just got to try what the specialty is. When in Rome. Yep. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. But have you actually been to Gisborne if you didn't get up to see the world's first sunrise? We didn't have the visibility, but when some color started to show, we decided to leave our classy beach tent and check it out anyway. There's more people up than I thought there would be. <laughs> we can see lots of other people. Oh, yeah. I didn't expect that. Oh no, people are going to see us. <laughs> so they say that this is the first sunrise in the world. There's some complexities, right? Yeah. yeah but there, we should just go with there's it. There's dateline and time zone issues, but um, apparently this is the spot to be. We're sleeping on the beach, obviously, last night. So we knew that this was going to be, if ever there was a time that we would do it and get up early enough. <laughs> we had to be close. It would have to be today while we're close. We're still both half asleep. And we've got a pretty terrible day for it, unfortunately. We took one look outside and we were like, should we do it? <laughs> and we were both like, we had this moment of like, we could just go back to sleep. It's still time. <laughs> so it's 6 a.m. I hope we get some colours. Yeah, hopefully. Okay, we've got five minutes for all the colours of the rainbow to come out. Front row seat and no one else showed up. <laughs> <laughs> they all right. heard that the show was cancelled. Here we go, do you reckon? Yeah. And now it's starting to rain. So there's only one thing that we can do on a day like today. If the weather's not gonna be great all day long, then all we can do to make the most of it is eat and drink. And there is some incredible places to do that here. So ugh, we ain't complaining. Sunrise didn't exactly go to plan. We so tried, we tried. We tried, uh, but we definitely need some energy juice to get this day started. So yeah, coffee time. What's this place called? It's called Zephyr. Everything on the menu is 100% plant-based and it's like an old school dairy. But we're not gonna eat here, eh? This is just coffee on the road, let's get going. This is like Spore. close coffee. Okay. What do you want? Flat white, please, beautiful. Flatty? Flatty. Gotcha. Morning. Can I please get one flat white and one latte to take away? Oh, I don't know if I'm smiling more to see you walking over here or carrying the coffee. Oh, strawberry! Butter you up. So, I got a latte and you got a flat white, but because everything on the menu is 100% plant based, it's made with oat milk. Oh, okay. He said, Is oat milk okay? And I just panicked and said yes. Oat milk's not okay. Really? It tastes weird. I know. Oh, I don't like oat milk. Oh, hey, look, if you're into plant-based vegan stuff, come I to Zephyr. I should have said coconut milk. But that's not really... Okay, well, we'll go... Let's go find some brunch. Yeah. you got lots of brunch options, don't I you? I've got heaps of brunch. Okay. More and we, there's so many coffee places here. We might just have to get another coffee somewhere. <laughs> well, that was a letdown. Oh, okay, so we're two for two on, on fails. I mean, it's growing on me a little bit. I'm glad you said hi, because a lot of people message us afterwards, and they're like, I saw you, but, like, didn't want to come up to you. And we're like, we don't bite. No. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
All right, let's get this morning back on track. Let's find some actual coffee. <laughs> <laughs> we've um, we've come to a place called Flagship Eatery, and this place is like the place to get brunch. Apparently in the summertime there's a bit of a wait, you can't book or anything. It's known for its like sustainable seasonal produce. So I'm excited, I'm so hungry. And everywhere you look, every blog, every... Yeah, literally, when you Google where to eat in Gisborne, this place comes up on pretty much every single blog that you look at. But the at. good news is, locals recommended it to us yeah, as well, so exactly. that's how you know it's not just like an internet thing. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so I've already looked at the menu. Of course you have. And there are two things that I want to share. There's the eggs benny with bacon, mm -hmm. and then there's this really floofy looking crumpet that I've seen on Instagram, and it looks so good. Are the coffees good? Yes. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. This is all terribly timed. So good in fact, I've actually ordered a second one. I don't normally drink lattes, but this one is delish. Mmm, so good. Creamy, milky, not too milky though. And yes, Stace got her way. The food that is coming out are the exact two things that you had scouted out. When did you first plan this trip? Like six months ago? Yeah, I did. I have to admit, I looked in August last year. <laughs> so it's been a long time coming. Stace has been anticipating these two meals. And now that it is here, Oh my days, I can completely understand. How good was my choice? Why you were so excited. How good? Are you excited? Yeah. I'm excited. That crumpet looks out of this world. It's so fat. I didn't realize how fat it was. The hollandaise, oh, I'm, my mouth is watering. I don't even know what to say. Is, are crumpets a, just a Kiwi thing or is that an international thing? I don't remember really seeing crumpets anywhere. Maybe in the UK? No. I'm wondering if we, when we cut into them, if they're going to be all hollowy and bubbly. Mm, let's find out. So the Benedict was just as good as I expected, mm. but it's a that was a classy Benny. Yeah, real good with some tomato in there, some cream, cream cheese. cheese. But everything that you want, egg. right? Like crispy yeah. bacon, ciabatta bread. Perfectly cooked eggs. All the good flavor, not too much hollandaise because nobody wants that, no right balance. Now we are now cream cheesed up, event. we are jammed up. I was just saying to Dean, I don't think I've tried a crumpet outside of like supermarket crumpet. No. So first cafe one. Cheers, buddy. Mmm. Dense. Mm hmm But fluffy. The, they're normally like fluffy on top and crispy on the bottom. This is kind of crispy both sides. Still but delicious. Dense fluffiness, homemade jam, cream cheese. No complaints from me. Bit, of rain, I, bit of rain coming down. I mean, it's I everything you want. Six months ago. <laughs> <laughs> Good call, babe. Delicious. Thank you for everybody that recommended that we visit that. And we can highly recommend highly. if you come here go there as well. We're going to yep. go for a little bit of a wander down towards the beach. We need um, to walk off these crumpets. Walk off some of these crumpets. <laughs> Tomorrow we're actually going to be doing a little bit more exercise on quite a unique thing that I'm excited to share. I'll keep thinking about that one the most. I'm, I'm excited for that one. Driving around town, there's definitely a chilled approach that rubs off. The kind of place where it feels like you're only ever a few blocks from the beach. Probably because you actually are a lot of the time. Hey little guy, throw up for him babe. I don't know who he's with. <laughs> Way. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> Only been here five minutes and Stace is already making friends with the locals. You're so cute. <laughs> you gotta go to where you live. In 10 minutes or less, there's endless beautiful beaches. If surfing is your thing, then Gizzy is your thing. There's loads of surf businesses around town and there's lots of families from bigger cities around New Zealand that set up shop for more of the lifestyle rather than the commerce. Sure, the beaches are great, but it was time to find an even better kind of liquid. Well, it doesn't take much before the scenery from that main street then there's the coastline, and as soon as you step back away from that, there's just a really calm 
that's the chill gizzy vibe isn't it yeah. like instantly it Real seems like a different place houses and like nice little villas and stuff but yeah it turns from city to suburbs to country real fast yeah so we're in the country now and we're looking around and we've got corn i've seen a lot and there's lots of grapes what's that that that's looks grapes. like grapes as well yeah. i mean this is wine country so we were like well we should go and check out the oldest winery cellar door in the whole region which is a place called Maferro wines their vineyards are actually 100 percent naturally organically dry I farmed, which I had no idea what that means. No, I had to ask Dave when you read it out. What does that? What does that mean? It turns out what that means is that the grapes are growing with only rainfall. There's no sprinklers or irrigation or anything like that, so they can serve a lot of water, and apparently it gives the grapes a really unique flavour. Well, I love the fact that that is just a unique story, just something yeah, something, something different. different. Yeah, we, we're always hunting those places out. Oh, this is peace out here. Oh, lovely. Oh, look at the big lawn. Hiya. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you guys? Good, Good thank, thank you. you. We wanted to grab some platters and yeah, just have a drink maybe. Yeah. Oh, can I just get your vaccine yeah, glasses, Yeah, of course. Please? We ordered the trio of cheese platter and then we didn't get to see the rainbow this morning so we're going to taste the rainbow with a flight of all their different wines well a collection of their wines anyway so you go from left to right, left to right. Okay. okay pinot rose the yep. rose which is a nice soft light one to start with and then the pinot gris Chambon blanc chardonnay and then the merlot to finish i got the pinot gris i got the ro pinot rose cheers, cheers. That's delicious. Mm, this is really good. Summery. Wow. Yep. Berry. -y, strawberry. Florally. Mm. <laughs> You've nailed all of them. It's almost as if you read some of the notes. I was what expecting notes? I was expecting to find I'm told that I should be hunting for pear and honey and I kind of pick up both of those in there. Nasty it's pear. really yeah, really smooth which I like. Ooh. Almost almost sort of silky. I didn't study all of the notes beforehand <laughs> like some people. Hmm, let me see. <laughs> Look at this. It's disgraceful. Discrimination. <laughs> Says makes me move the blue completely off the plate. Like, like it can't oh. even be near the breads. Mm, it'll cross contaminate it. Uh, yeah. That's so funny. <laughs> now for the main event, we got another taster. This is their Irwin Chardonnay, which is like their high-end Chardonnay. The signature, the signature dish, so to speak. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's uh, stored in American and... Hungarian oak, which is apparently very rare. We're not Chardonnay drinkers, but it's one of those things when you come to a place, you've just got to try what the specialty is. When in Rome. Yep. <laughs> Beautiful. Ooh. As far as Chardonnay goes, that's that's actually very that's nice. That's really nice. I feel like it's oaky, but in a, all the good ways. Mm, in the subtle way. You know, sometimes when you drink an oaky Chardonnay, it's like it lingers, and it's mm. like. <sighs> whereas this is very like smooth. Look at the. I want to say smooth and buttery, which is what you were. Yeah, saying. but look at the legs on it as well. You can just see. Look up at it's the top of the syrupy, glass there. It's almost syrupy, isn't it? So you might be thinking, that was quite a lot of wine considering we're on this road trip, this adventure, we're driving everywhere. Uh, we already thought about that. <laughs> you might have spotted in the background, there's a couple of small cabins here and we're staying in one. Oh, beautiful. So your breakfast tray is all on the counter. Oh, thank you. Uh, that that for a setting. Yes. Perfect. Lovely stay. Thanks so much. No you need to see my face. <laughs> oh, these are so charming. <gasps> the decor is amazing. We're big on wood at the moment, eh? So big on wood and Look timber. Look at the walls. It's, it looks like that ply, but it's beautifully finished. And all the details, look at that. I love the brass tap as well. The room itself is obviously it's stunning. But just, I mean, Unbelievable. How did you find this again? You originally just found Matafito as in terms of the wine. Yeah, right? I was looking for places to go for a drink. I imagine that's what a lot of people do. The vineyard and then yeah. found that they have cabins as well. And then this is our breakfast tray. So in the morning, oh look at the different teas. Mm. That, that that very much looks homemade. Toast, fruit. There we go. Yeah. Muesli, some yogurt, so there must be some something in the fridge. Oh, lovely. Yep. And let's have a look at the bathroom. 
Oh, wow. Oh, that's a nice shower. Oh, yeah. 